Hey guys, it's John checking in here. Yeah, I did the thing I normally do and passed out when I got home from work. I think on these weekday ones, I'm just going to start shooting them at this time instead. <laughs> you know, during the day. Um, yeah, so uh, technically it's, you know, the evening. Uh, I guess I'll still get this daily one out. But um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good... Goodness, it's Thursday over there. I hope you had a good Thursday. It's Friday over here. Things, things are alright. Yeah, um, I guess I wanted to talk about some stuff. Things have been a little, little stressful here lately. I had a really rough day on Wednesday, you know. Um, lost a student, had two classes that were really tough, and then I have another student who's, um, he'll be in the hospital for two weeks. And, uh, he'll be getting cancer treatment, so, um, he probably won't be able to keep his food down for that time period. So I figured uh, yesterday I'd go do something special <laughs> for him on his behalf. Um, so I had a cheat day, you know, which is where you just kind of break your diet. And as for my diet, I'm just want to make it very clear to you guys, I don't have good foods or bad foods that I eat. I just tend to prefer healthy foods, fruits and vegetables. I just have a calorie limit. That's it. A calorie limit and I need to hit my protein. Those are the only those are the only things. Those are the only things I follow on my diet. I don't have good foods, I don't have bad foods. I think it's a wrong way about thinking about food, honestly. There aren't really good foods or bad foods. They're just foods that are probably better for what your goals are. And if you think about it that way, you won't really feel the need to relapse. And you know, you won't put so much pressure on yourself, but anyway, you know, Having that diet, you know, losing all that weight in that short amount of time, uh, I've been very strict on my budget lately, and then Wednesday just sucked. Wednesday was tough, you know. Student quit, student going to the hospital, two tough classes with a lot of difficult students, not feeling so good about that, you know. Um, stress and pressure from everything. So I decided yesterday I would have a cheat day, and uh, over the course of 24 hours, I literally just went into any convenience store I saw, looked around, and just started buying crap <laughs> just all of this you know processed super high calorie probably difficult for your body to process foods a lot of chips a lot of popcorn whole lot of chocolate a lot of ice cream um i ate a tart i've never even looked at that i passed by the tart so like oh, whatever that tart looked delicious i was just the animal was unleashed the monster was unleashed right I had a 12,500 calorie cheat day <laughs> to take a little pressure off, make things feel better. So, the point I'm getting to today is sometimes it's okay to take a break. Sometimes it's okay to take a cheat. You know, sometimes it's okay to just let some pressure off. You know, vent, vent that, that release valve, right? Uh, so yeah, yesterday I, um, I also went out with my friend and I played drums. It was awesome. I played drums for about an hour. I burned like 700 calories. It was amazing. So uh, I might actually just quit my my local gym membership and just start playing drums because it's a lot cheaper. And my my close gym, I don't go to very much. I just go to the trampoline gym. So I think I could actually quit my gym next door, go to a gym that's a little bit further away for like 20 bucks a month instead of, you know, like 80 and still have extra money left over to go play drums plenty of times and still save money every month. So I might do that. Anyway. Whoops. <laughs> um, so, point today is, it's okay if things suck sometimes. Yeah. And it's okay to uh, tactically cheat. Tactically take a break from things, right? I went in to this day, I went into yesterday with that decision. Once then I was like, I'm gonna eat some ice cream stuff because it feels bad, right? And then I said, okay, well, cheat day. Because, why is that? I'm taking a two day break on my diet, right? And I'm hitting the next phase, uh, this upcoming Monday, right? So uh, taking a little break from my budget, taking a little break from my diet, giving myself some breathing room. It's just a lot of stress that like seeing that money go down every single day, seeing that because calories go down every single day, you know? It's not awful, but it's a little bit of stress. So just taking it off. Now I um, have no interest in uh, in processed food, in uh, snacks and stuff, you know? Really, I don't want to put that in my body <laughs> right now. I'm done, yeah. I, uh, I think I gained like six pounds 
from all that crap. <laughs> it's probably a lot of water weight in the weight of the food, but um, now I'm ready. I'm ready to lose uh, a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go do some extra walking today to take care of that. Yeah. So happy Thursday, everybody. It's Friday over here, and um, I'll probably check with check in with you around the same time on Saturday to say happy Friday evening. Hope you're not getting too wasted. And um, if you are living, you know, by uh, pretty strict rules, pretty strict standards, sometimes psychologically it's good to take a little break, give yourself some breathing room, which is exactly what I did. And I told myself, okay, this is what I'm going to do this day. I want to see how many calories I can cram in today. 24 hour period. I have until midnight last night. Okay. Done. It's done. Okay. Now I have a 3000 calorie, um, limit. This is my diet break, right? I cannot pass that 3000. It's like 3100 calorie limit. I'm not going to pass that. Then starting next Monday, I will be like 2300 calories. I will not pass that. Okay, good. I had my fun. I destroyed my mouth. Like my mouth is all numb now. There's like new like sores and stuff that popped up from all the crap that I put through it. I even drank some sodas and stuff, which I normally don't drink. You know, I normally have the uh, like zero calorie monsters and stuff, right? It's not because I drink a ton of these. It's because I physically just eat a lot of food. Anyway. Yeah, there's my, my little food baby. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling better. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll check in, you know, if you guys want to see my, my beach body in, <laughs> uh, in July. Yeah, that's my deadline. So, uh, my diet's going quite well. Yeah, really is. <laughs> um, budget's going well too. Everything's good. Yeah. So anyway, I hope uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you don't have the stress to, like, you know, uh, relapse and do something too stupid. I didn't even touch any alcohol either. I felt awful. I was like, okay, well, I don't drink. I don't drink anymore. I might drink for special occasions, but that wasn't a special occasion. I'm not going to drink because I'm sad. That's bad. That's when you do dumb stuff. That's when bad things happen. I don't think... You should drink because you're sad. Really. That's when um, that's when dumb stuff happens. So don't drink when you're sad, people. It just makes you sadder. It just makes you lonelier. Okay. I might drink to celebrate. But other than that, you know, it's been two months, two whole months since I've touched a drop of alcohol. So that feels nice. I feel so much better. I have energy. I don't waste days. I don't, I'm not wasting my weekends, you know, I'm productive all day on my weekends. I don't have those days where I'm hungover and lose it, you know, getting up consistently. I just wake up at eight now, like every day, seven to eight, every day. I'm just up like just that. And it's like, okay, time to go. Time to start another day. Have you guys ever felt like at night you're so exhausted that you want to go to sleep, but you're so excited about the next day that you have trouble going to sleep? But you're so exhausted that you fall asleep quickly anyway. That's how awesome my life is now. Really. It's great. So I hope everybody can feel that enthusiasm about life. Because it's fucking awesome. And um, I've worked very hard for many years to get to this point. So if anybody needs help, if anybody needs some advice, if anybody needs to be pushed along in that direction, please let me know. Yeah, let's talk. I'll call. You know, I've got... I can make time. I can make time if you guys reach out. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for reaching out in the comments. You know, uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Um, it's really nice to see. Uh, dude, Javago, it's been, it's, been, it's been so long, and I wanted to say um, I t I, I've been bad about responding. I, I thought I said I'd be better, but that's something I need to work on, right? But, dude, I hope you're still creating. I hope you're still gaming. <laughs> I want to see your like title cards and stuff, so I'll I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up on um, Facebook probably. Let's talk. Let's catch up. Yeah, and for all the other people too. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for the messages and uh, keep up the good work, guys. I hope you have um, some goals that you're working towards that you're making progress towards. Put a number to it. If there's something you're working towards, just put a number on it. I can show you guys my numbers for everything. 
my budget, 1,000 yen every day. My money, specifically divvied up into my three bank accounts. I have a specific number for each account. I have a specific number for how much goes into my savings. And I also always have my expenses written out specifically for every bill. And I over budget my expenses so that if I have a little extra money, then I have a little tiny bit of extra spending money. And then I stay within my 1,000 yen a day budget, which is small, but I get stuff online. You know, I have other budgets for like Amazon. I can order food and stuff online too. Uh, I can order anything I need online, you know, it's all set. It's all accounted for. Put a number to it and it will happen. You have a weight you want to reach. Put a number to it. You have to be realistic and it'll happen. You want to diet, put a number to it. It's going to happen. Every day. I use my fitness pal every day. Even on my cheat day. That's how I knew it was 12,500 calories. I logged everything that I ate. Also, if you do that, if you're eating and it makes you feel bad or something, but you log it, then you're really like, oh shit, this is what I'm doing to my body. Or, oh, that's not that bad. I can enjoy this sometimes. Usually it's the latter. Usually it's like, oh, this is 30, 40 calories. So that's not that bad. But then you're aware, okay, 30, 40 calories, 20 times every day. Oh, I'm overeating. You know, that's 800 calories in total. Maybe you're overeating 300, 400 calories. 300, 400 calories you're overeating. Let's say in the course of a week, that's close to a pound of fat you're just putting on. Just that, right? It's awareness. It's awareness. Do you really need that extra cookie? Maybe like half a cookie, maybe a bite or something, or maybe you can have that cookie. You can't not have it. I mean, you know, maybe you can have that cookie and you go walk 20 minutes. Perfect. Then you're good. You know, something like that. Right. But just, yeah, you guys are doing all right. We're all doing all right. We'll be fine. <laughs> all right, everybody. This one got a little bit long, but you know what? I'm feeling pretty good today, despite, you know, Wednesday being stressful. I hope you guys are doing good this week too. Happy Thursday. Happy evening. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Peace.